Yeah. All right, what we have here, this is an Area 51 gas engine, and I'm going to make an attempt to show you how to find top dead center and set the timing if you're going to be setting it with a RCXL or CNA ignition uh, at 28 degrees. What I've got here is a, t is a degree wheel. It's one of the CNHs. I made this thing about five or six years ago, and it's laminated to a piece of light ply because I, I use it quite a bit. There's actually two or three different ways you can find top dead center. One way you can use a gauge. I haven't set this one up because I don't like to do it that way, but you can mount it into a, to an old plug or something like that and set it off. Screw that in and, and go to gauge up and down and get the center of the two highest, uh, two highest points on it, and that would be your top dead center. The way that I do it, and I generally do it with a plug in, but to save time, I'm going to do it without the plug. I use top dead center rock. All engines, I say most engines, have 10 to 12 degrees of top dead center rock in it. Here's a clip. It's just a simple paper clip with a wire soldered on it that you can use and clip on your, one of your fins and it will hold it in place. Uh, what I do is I set it up here and I figure out where my rock's at. Alright, like right here, we've got right at 10 degrees rock. But I'm off a little bit right there. I'm right at 5 degrees each direction. Now to check and see if that's right, I'm going to put a positive piston stop in it. Oops, i got to put my adapter on it because it's a CM6. i got to put an adapter on it for standard plugs. I'm going to put my positive piston stop in. And see how close I am to top dead center just by doing it with a rocket engine. Okay, I'm going to turn it this way until this piston hits uh, the stop and quits. I'm right at 17 degrees. 15, 16, 17. Now I'm going to check it this way. Same thing. 15, 16, 17 degrees. So that tells me for sure that I am sitting on top dead center. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this a couple of times to make sure that, that it works. I'll take my positive stop back out. Come back up here. Let me take this off and we'll start over from scratch so we can make sure that I'm doing it the right way. All right, there we are. All right, there I've got about a little over five degrees. There. Okay, so you can actually hear the little snap in there when it stops. I'm just a little bit off right there. Five, five, five. All right, I'm saying that's top dead center. Put my, I have to rotate a little bit, put my piston stop back in. Wants to give me a hard time. There we go. And again, we'll see how close I am to top dead center with a piston stop. I'm going to pull it around until it stops. Whoops, right there. There's 15, 16, 17 degrees again. Now i got to come around this way. Come back, stopped, 15, 16, 17 degrees. So that shows you the piston stop, or if you're comfortable and you got a good feel, you can find it just with the rock of the engine. Now, once we know that that is top dead center, I'm going to show you how you can set your ignition up. If you're using, you know, a CNH or, or an RCXL or something that, that you're trying to set up at 28 degrees. Turn it opposite rotation of, the, of what the proper be turning, which would be clockwise here, and set it at 28 degrees. All right, let's set right there. Now, this is a RCXL ignition, and generally when you get them, if you buy them new, they're going to come in pieces. You're going to have, we're going to have this, which is a, the sensor that mounts into your plastic adapter. And also, there's a wedge that goes in here. I'm not going to put the wedge in just for purposes. Of, I might have to use it for something else. But first thing you want to do is determine the polarity of your magnet. I'm going to plug the ignition up. And I'm going to take the sensor and I'm going to rub it over the magnet and see if I can get a spark. That way, I'm not getting a spark. So I turn it completely over. Now I got a spark. 
No, I don't because I ain't got the battery hooked up right. Okay. Now we're going to check it. Yep, got spark there. Now see, if I turn it over, I won't have a spark. So we know the polarity is right, right there. Now you can actually do this after, you know, you mounted everything. Okay, now I'm going to put it in. Under normal circumstances, I'd go ahead and put the wedge in. Now right now, I know my, my piston is setting at 28 degrees above top dead center. So I'm going to set the sensor up here, and I'm going to move it. Opposite of rotation of the, what the prop will be running, or clockwise from the front. And watch till I get a spark. Right there. I just got my spark. That's where the house sensor should be setting. Let's try it one more time. I'm going to rotate it real slow till I get a spark. Right there. So that's where the house sensor should be set. Now, if you just want to check the timing on one that's already set, get your top dead center, get your wheel, go past this, and then just turn it back till you see a spark. Just got a spark. That tells me I'm setting at 28 degrees. So this ends lesson 101 in finding top dead center and timing a CNH or RCL ignition. Good day.